Hello, this is Alex from Cables.gl. I want to show you how to upload an animation that you get out of Mixamo.com, which is a helpful website for rigging your unrigged models or um, applying uh, kind of like clip art animations that are for rigged models. So you can rig it in Blender, for example, in a specific way that Mixamo likes, and then upload it to Mixamo and then apply an animation that you might want to use in your project. So right now I have this uh, really weird scene of this scary looking guy um, in the middle of nowhere. And uh, it was actually a static model that I got out of Sketchfab that I'll link below. And I was able to unpose him and then upload him to Mixamo and then apply another animation. So. We're not going to really get into the uh, intricacies of using Mixamo because there are some, obviously. It's a super easy to use website, but uh, you might get into uh, some things like, for example, you can't animate a dog or a horse in there because it's pretty much only for kind of like bipedal, uh, two-handed, normally proportioned models, you know. So if you have like some kind of uh, a funky looking monster with backward knees or something like that, you won't be able to really use Mixamo to uh, successfully animate it really well. But if you just want to get started with animating on uh, on the web and, and using 3D animations in your project, I think it's a really nice tool to kind of get the hang of um, how you can animate and, and uh, time your animations inside your projects and then of course, evolve into an awesome rigger that uses some other piece of software. So let's look at Mixamo really quickly. And uh, you're going to need an uh, account. And then uh, I had a really good um, conversation about <laughs> the, the legal um, use cases for this website. You know, are you able to sell... Um, the projects that you make with Mixamo. And I'm also not going to get into that. Check it out. I'm pretty sure it's quite uh, quite um, easy to use in, in terms of licensing. And uh, they don't really uh, go after you that hard. And if at all. Uh, okay, I'm not going to get into it. So what we have here is an animation. Um, that I applied to my already uploaded and rigged uh, guy I got from Sketchfab. So he's just walking. And for example, uh, maybe I want to see him take a punch or, or throw a punch. And uh, it should apply it correctly. So we'll just wait a bit for the skeletal animation to load and uh, see what happens. There we go. So. It looks all right, right? It's probably not uh, AAA level, but good enough. So when you log into Mixamo, you might not have a prepared character, and that's okay because they do have some uh, like database of characters you can use and uh, apply different animations to them. And uh, I wonder what's happening there. There it goes. So it has some models that you might want to play around with. Um, but also other places on the web have already rigged models or uh, T-posed or A-posed models that you can bring into Mixamo and then uh, rig them up quite easily. So anyway, how do we get something that we like after we set it up? And definitely check out some tutorials if you need some more Mixamo know, know how. Um, what do we do with our finished kind of rigged animation? All right, so I'll use this one maybe. And we're going to see some settings here for the different energy level and overdrive. And this will kind of uh, space out your skeleton rig. Uh, for example, if I turn up the energy level, it'll just uh, maybe make the animation really fast or exaggerate some of the movements. And let's say you pick something that you like, and now you're ready, right? You're totally ready to get this into cables. All right, so we click on download over here, and then you'll have this menu that says uh, format, skin, frames per second, and keyframe reduction. And you don't really have to 
uh, worry about this too much when you're beginning, but uh, I think FBX binary is really good. And then um, the skin part is interesting actually, because it will allow you to download the animation without the 3D model. So it will just be the skeletal information that you can then apply in, for, uh, for example, Blender or something like that. Or you can just get a ready-made rigged model with a 3D mesh with it, right? And we're going to go with this option because um, I had some interesting use cases where I wanted to use more than one animation and flip through them in cables. And it gets really funky when you're uploading uh, a custom model and it's spaced out a little bit differently than the default rig. So uh, watch out because... I highly recommend you just download it with the skin, and even if you're using some something like Blender, it's going to give you the correctly uh, scaled skeleton that you can then put into your actions um, or apply to your skeleton inside Blender much, much easily, uh, more easily. So let's get this guy with the skin, and I'm just going to leave it at 60 frames per second because why not, right? But I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter. Actually, let's do 30. So let's download this guy. It's going to prepare it a little bit and then give you the final ready to use thing. So you get an FBX file and Cables does allow you to upload FBX files. So if I'm going to go over to my downloads and I have my FBX here and then go over to a new project and bring this up again, I can just drag and drop this into my project and you'll see that it uploads and then it's inside my patch file library. And you'll see that the FBX will automatically get converted to a GLB, which is a format for GLTF scenes, right? So when I drag and drop this GLB onto my canvas, it's a GLTF scene, and it's named after the FBX that I uploaded. For whatever reason, you can also... Um, Call, like force the conversion here in inside the file menu. But uh, you generally won't have to ever do that. What's another interesting thing here with, a, with the file menu is that you can actually compress it to Draco. So for example, if this guy is 1.13 megabytes, we can maybe squeeze out something uh, even smaller and then you'll just have to use the Draco library. But we're not going to do that right now because it's actually not that big. And then we'll put down a main loop connected to our GLTF scene. And you're going to see that this guy is already here. And maybe to center him a bit better, we can just uh, throw in a transform and then position him a bit lower. Maybe scale him down a bit. Make this window bigger. And close our file menu. All right, so how do we animate this guy? We can uh, first kind of explore this GLTF scene again and uh, remind ourselves that there's this thing all the way at the bottom, which is called anims. And uh, this is an array that you can inspect and you'll see the name of your animation that uh, was applied. So in case you're not using Mixamo, you might be able to put in a bunch of actions in Blender, upload it to uh, cables and then uh, choose the exact animation that you want to play. But we're not going to cover that either. So we have this one. We don't have to set the name for it. It's just going to play uh, the the topmost scene uh, animation, which is the only one we have. So all we need to do is type in or put in a timer here. And uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, we can put in an orbit. And... Uh, Give them a Fong material for now because uh, the other project I have over here is obviously a little bit more intricate with uh, PBR material that I applied and uh, looks pretty nice. So here's our guy with a new material and he's using the animation from Mixamo. So incredibly easy, right? That's the beauty of cables. So tell me what you think. Um, Ask me questions if you have issues with this stuff because, you know, I'm covering like a very uh, nice uh, example here where everything just works. But, uh, you know, you even using Mixamo, you can get into some interesting jams. So um, I'll be happy to cover that and 
we can talk about it. Thank you. Bye.